Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build price and option a 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Sport all-wheel drive crossover SUV, as well as learn about the other 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio configurations along the way. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Most crossover SUVs trade heavily on their ability to move things and ferry people. The 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio, however, prioritizes the driving experience over such other concerns like that. It strives to be the driver's pick among premium compact crossover SUVs, and those are vehicles that generally aren't known for their dynamic attributes or driving prowess. The Stelvio enters its second model year in 2019. It shares its fundamental platform engines and trim levels with the Julia sedan which I did just do a build and price review on yesterday I'm gonna put a link up to that right now it's a ball to drive with sharp steering and precise handling the two-liter four-cylinder engine is eager to run the Stelvio offers a pleasant ride quality too the Stelvio doesn't pretend to offer off-road capability which is actually somewhat refreshing Instead, it doubles down on its ability to handle pavement. For example, it has an optional mechanical differential, huge and gorgeous shift paddles, and a range-topping quadrifolio variant that's one of the quickest crossovers you can buy in the segment. There are compromises, of course. The 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio gives up some cargo volume and towing capacity to its competitors, while the interior is a mixed bag of material choices. But if you're searching for a sport-oriented premium crossover SUV, this is one of the best. The 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio is a compact all-wheel drive, small crossover luxury SUV that's available in three variants. A base Stelvio, a luxury-oriented TI, and a high-performance Quadrifolio. The solidly equipped base and TI models come with a turbocharged, 2-liter inline 4-cylinder engine that's good for 280 horsepower and 306 pound-feet of torque and an 8-speed automatic transmission. The Quadrifolio is a different animal altogether with its stiffer suspension tuning, better tires, and Ferrari-derived twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6 engine that makes 505 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. You know, the new, the base model with rear-wheel drive is interesting, but the Stelvio that makes more sense when equipped with all-wheel drive, I think. I think you got to get an SUV that has all-wheel drive. It's always been a big gripe of mine to get these SUVs, and they don't have all-wheel drive. So go for the TI trim. It's the, it's the mid-level. has a starting MSRP of $44,495. You get heated seats and a steering wheel, parking sensors, and if you add the sport package, uh, you get the better seats and you get the steering column mounted shift paddles. We'll see those when we take a look in the gallery in a little bit. And uh, I think you've hit the sweet spot when you get the Stelvio TI, especially with the sport package. And, you know, you're still right around $50-ish thousand dollars. So that said, let's jump into the rest of this build and price review. Let's check out some colors for the tw exterior colors, I should say, for the 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI, the base model, and the Quadrifolio. You know, I did the Quadrifolio on the uh, Julia yesterday, and nice car. I have a feeling that this vehicle is going to look exactly like that and have basically the same everything, except it's, well, an SUV. All right, so. We can see that this first color that they're showing us is called Alpha Rosa. It's a shade of red. Then we've got the what? We've got the Alpha White. Then we have Volcano Black, followed by a Silverstone Gray. Metallic, the word metallic just simply means that there's metallic flakes in the paint. For instance, when you look at a car with the sun shining on it and you get all the twinkles, that's metallic. So this is Silverstone Gray Metallic. And then this next color here is a Verde Viscante, so green, <laughs> uh, a Monte Carlo Blue, a Masano Blue, which is a little lighter and brighter. You got a Vesuvio Gray. I like the word, and the color is not bad either. 
You've got this Stromboli gray. And then you've got a Basalto brown. That was not available on the Julia, if I remember correctly. You've got this Imola titanium. You've got this competition red tricoat. And then you've got the Trofeo white tricoat. And that's a nice color. That's the color I picked yesterday to go with the Julia uh, quadrifolia. Uh, now, for the wheel selection, let me pull this down just a skosh. A wheel selection looks like we only really have two. You've got the 20-inch Bright Sport aluminum wheels, or you've got the 19-inch, the smaller 19-inch Sport 5-hole aluminum wheels. And then brake calipers, okay, yeah. We can choose our brake caliper colors. It's not an expensive package because I remember it from yesterday. And, yeah, we can have our brake calipers. And these brakes are by Brembo. And we can get them in red. We can have them in yellow, which is what I think I selected yesterday. And then, of course, we can also have them in black. But then you can't really see them. I chose, I think, yeah, like I said, yellow yesterday. I think I'm going to go with the reds today on whatever color we put together with this uh, Stelvio. All right, let's move on. Actually, let's take a quick spin around here. Can we get a spin around? Does that work? Yeah, it works. It's a little slow, but yeah, we get a little couple of angles there, a little pseudo uh, virtual walk around. And look, we can do the same thing on inside. We can actually, actually look at the 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Sport interior, and that's exactly... What we're building in pricing is a TI Sport. So it says we can click on this to get started, and then it's going to show us all these, well, let's call these points of interest that we can click on, and it's going to give us a little bit of information. But when we can also rotate, I don't really care to do it because it's a little crazy. I don't really like how it moves. But, yeah, the interior looks basically just like uh, the interior of the Julia. Actually, it's almost a spitting image. All right, so let's click on these points of interest now, I like to call them, and then uh, find out what they have to say. So the 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Sport has cold weather features. Right, You can stay warm with heated front seats, heated leather-wrapped steering wheel, and heated washer nozzles. And that's all standard on the Stelvio TI Sport. Okay, now they're talking about the 7-inch driver information digital cluster display. That's like right down here. You know, you've got your speedometer, your instruments, and then right in the middle now on a lot of vehicles, they've got like a little digital driver display that gives you all kinds of information, such as your vehicle speed, your engine RPMs, and a whole bunch more. It's a 7-inch full-color driver instrument, driver informational digital cluster. Wow, what a tongue twister. Cluster display. Uh, and I'm gonna, going to assume that's standard on the TI Sport. They don't say one way or the other, but I'm going to assume that it is. Okay, so now they're talking about the double binnacle design. And they're really talking about how each one of these is a binnacle. There's another one on the other side. If we close this, we can see the other binnacle on the other side. And they're just talking about a double binnacle design. That's not really saying much, is it? That's not saying much. Okay, well, I guess it is. I guess it's a historic interior design but a lot to me it seems like a lot of manufacturers had double binnacles but whatever and and they even have the nerve to call it alluring but whatever it's it, it's it's just the instrument clusters let's find out about the paddle shifters all right there are class exclusive steering column mounted aluminum paddle shifters and they're standard on the stelvio ti sport the stelvio comes standard with a racing uh three spoke flat bottom steering wheel and push button start right on the steering wheel, which I said yesterday, I think that's really awesome, cool, and unique because most manufacturers are not doing the push button on the steering wheel. Seems like a logical place, though, doesn't it? All right, let's find out about this 8.8-inch uh, wide touchscreen display. You can sync your Apple or Android phone, Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto smartphone support. We've got the aluminum trim down here. The 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Ti was crafted to converge elements of both performance and beauty. Now, when you option the Stelvio Ti Sport, it comes standard with gen genuine aluminum trim, contributing to its ultimate modern and high-performance appearance. I like that. I really like it. I like it a lot. Matter of fact, let's keep moving on. Uh, there's this DNA drive mode selector. 
uh, which allows you to fine-tune your driving experience by selecting your preferred driving modes. Uh, what do we have here? We already took a look at the aluminum trim, didn't we? Yeah, we did. What are they going to tell us about the sport leather seats? And then I think we're out of this little section. Uh, the Stelvio TI Sport comes standard with 12-way power sport leather seats for both the driver and the passenger. And the, sport, uh, the Stelvio TI Sport is also equipped with power bolsters and manual thigh support adjustment, just so we know. Also, what you didn't know is we can actually see the different interior colors for the 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio uh, TI, as well as the other configurations I'm assuming have the same colors. So this color here is the red sport leather. Then we've got the chocolate sport leather, as we can see here. And that's not a the resolution on their website is just horrible because that does not look good at all. Here's the black sport leather as it were. And then you've got this black slash ice sport leather. It looks a little more grayish to me. Uh, I'd either be down for the red, the all red, or the all black, right? You've got the, I'm not a fan of the chocolate. I'd either like the red sport leather or the black sport leather. Let's keep it simple. And I think that's probably the best rendition for this vehicle. So there's an available convenience package, which includes a uh, that's suitable for your every need, including a 115-volt auxiliary power outlet, cargo compartment adjustment rail system, and a cargo net. So I guess this is a slider. We can show that, and we can show that. We can show with and without, with and without, with, yep, and without. All right, let's move on. Yeah, you know what? So far, this basically is the same rundown as they did on the Julia as far as the website's concerned. But that's fine. We still want to learn about this information. They're here they're talking about the premium lighting system, the, uh, the bi Xenon headlamps that you can get with adaptive forward lighting and signature LED daytime running lamps and static bending lights. The Stelvio allows you to drive with full clarity. So here they're showing it in full daytime. Then we've got it, I guess, at like a dusk or something or sunset. And then we have it at night. And they just want to show us the dramatic look of their LED, bising, and lamps and all that other goodness there. Okay, so right here, they're talking about the Quadrifolio version, the 500 horsepower version, the super fast sporty spice version. You know what? We're not going to spend any time talking about it. I mean, we can kind of guesstimate what it's all about. You're still going to get all the luxury that you're going to get in a TI, maybe a little bit more, maybe not. But then you're going to get, you know, more sporty suspension, the big engine, all that. If you're into all that, cool. But we're not doing that. We're doing the TI Sport. And so we're going to skip on over this. But we know what the deal is. I think this is a good vehicle. But you know what? For 70 some thousand dollars if I was looking at an SUV, I might be looking at something different. That's why I didn't bother with it. And I'm not going to bother with this 3D video game. I played it yesterday. If you want to see me do that, <laughs> then you can go watch the other video when I did it with the Julia. It's nothing to write home about, but it was a little fun for the, the, 13, the, the three and a half seconds that I did it. All right, check this out. Conquering all conditions. With Q4 all-wheel drive, the 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio steps up it's all-season traction and optimizes performance by transferring up to 60% of the engine's torque to the front axle. So that's the deal. You do have an all-wheel drive system. They call theirs the Q4, which I think sounds pretty cool, actually. So check it out. We can actually listen to the 2-liter turbocharged engine. This is going to be the engine that comes in the Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Sport all-wheel drive crossover SUV. Yeah, it makes 280 horsepower. And it makes 306 pound-feet of torque. I think that's pretty healthy. You know, and if you're still, if you still kind of want the, the quadrifolio version of the Stelvio, but you don't want to pay quadrifolio prices, but you want to have all the look, then we could throw down with this performance package, right? It's an available, it's optional, right? For those who seek the highest level of performance and driver involvement with features such as an active suspension, mechanical limited slip differential rear axle, and segment-exclusive steering column-mounted aluminum paddle shifters. So, I mean, it's really kind of just an appearance package, but the mechanical slip, well, it's not really an appearance package. You know, you got the active suspension and the mechanical limited slip. That's going to make it kind of cool. So I, it's going to make it a lot more responsive and more of a driver's vehicle. So uh, 
that's interesting. We'll probably put it on ours when we get to the building price here, and that's coming up. Here they're going to tell us real quick about that uh, eight-speed transmission, and again, say something about those steering column-mounted paddle shifters, like it's that big of a deal. I would think most people that buy this won't even use those beyond the novelty for a second, and then probably never mess with them again. Here they're telling you that it's got a that this is a balanced chassis, right? Near 50/50 weight distribution across both the front and rear axles. Here's some numbers for you. Here's some specs, some stats, whatever you want to call it. So we know that the 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio comes standard with that engine that makes 280 horsepower, right? Only in the Quadrifoglio do you get that 500 horsepower engine. So this engine makes 280 horse, 306 pound-feet of torque. You can do 144 miles an hour. I don't know where you're going to do it at, but you can do 144 miles an hour. That's your top speed. You can do 0 to 60 in 5.4 seconds. Here they're telling us a little bit more about those driving modes, that DNA drive mode selector thing we were talking about a little bit ago. Now they're telling us a little bit more on what the modes are. There's a dynamic, natural, or advanced efficiency. They just put a letter there, boy. You can't even be bothered. Normal, I'm sorry, dynamic, natural, or advanced efficiency. Those are the modes. What's this all about? Forward thinking. If you approach a vehicle too quickly, the optional full speed forward collision warning plus will give you audible and visual alerts and apply the brakes if you're still not paying attention, entertainment excites us. We can have, we can see the infotainment system. We see where they're going with this. Um, this is an available Harman Kardon premium audio system they're talking about. Uh, this is a standard 8.8 inch widescreen color display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. And then, yeah, the available system is the upgrade is that Harman Kardon premium audio system. That's the upgrade for this vehicle. Check this out. Lightweight, class-exclusive, carbon fiber drive shaft. That's pretty cool. Enhances the vehicle's overall balance, providing incredible precision and performance. Here's that carbon fiber drive shaft. I think that's super cool. Here's one of our best shots of the cabin and that double binnacle design. <laughs> At any rate, command the wheel. The leather-wrapped steering wheel gives the driver complete control with a push-button start audio controls, and Bluetooth connectivity at the fingertips. Here's your push-button start right there. Pretty cool. In the Quadrifolio, they're red, because when I did the Julia yesterday, it was a red button. And I'm assuming they do that the same way on this vehicle. There's packages. There's an all-new Black Edition package. Unique 20-inch dark uh, sport aluminum wheels. V... Uh, Scudetto, Scudetto grill. Let's just call it a grill, all right? Uh, the badging, it's got dark badging and dark exhaust tips. All new competition package adds a touch of mystique. It's available on all the trim levels except for the Quadrifolio, right? We can get it on the Stelvio Ti and even the Stelvio Ti Sport if we want to do things in black. You're probably taking saying, hey, will you just slide the slider in real quick? All right, so here it is in all black. Here it is, whoops, <laughs> here it is, regular, and notice the little chrome piece on the V here, in the grill, how that goes away, that's cool, uh, oh, they could show it from the back too, alright, I missed that yesterday, well here's the shot from the back, here's our uh, black exhaust tips as well, looks pretty good, I don't know, what do you think, it looks like a BMW X1 to me, <laughs> honestly, I gotta put a shot up of a picture that I just see, Here's a 2015 BMW X1, and while I didn't find the exact angle, if you look at it close, yeah, you can kind of see that I think Alfa Romeo likes BMWs, and I said something about that yesterday when I said, oh, this interior of the Julia looks very BMW. I said that yesterday. Here I am again, being Angela Lansbury. Anyway, let's check the gallery. Here's the wheels. Here's the control buttons with the uh, dynamic DNA selector. This is probably for your infotainment to scroll through your menus. There's a back shot of the engine. Oh, hey, real quick. You see how there's all that twinkle in the paint? Oh, that paint looks messed up right down here. Dang. I mean, come on. At any rate, I'm not even going to go on with that. So you see all the twinkle in the paint? That's the metallic. That is the metallic right there. Uh, here's another shot. Wow, that looks really nice. I love the color of the seats and the contrast of the um, of the um, headliner. Very attractive. 
I wish we could see a bigger picture of that. That's really nice looking. I like that a lot. And then you've got, of course, the front end there. All right, so you know what? Here's the deal. We've gotten through this whole review, honestly. We've learned about the design. We've learned about the top-tier quadrifolio. We've learned about some technology. We checked out the packages. We, we, we went through the gallery real fast. We looked at all we really needed to look at. Uh, now we're ready to actually get to the part where we're going to go and actually build and price our TI. Right, but we're going to do the TI Sport because remember the Sport's an actual package. So let's go do that right now. Take note that you can get a couple of these models in rear wheel drive, right? You can get the Stelvio base model in rear wheel drive. When you select all wheel drive, now it opens up the whole world to everybody. And here we can see that Stelvio TI Sport starts at 47,295. And it's basically $30,000 and change cheaper than, um, than the Quadrifolio. And at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, you get the 500 horsepower and the suspension and all that, but is it worth thirty grand? Apparently not to me. So we're going to just jump right to building our Stelvio TI Sport all-wheel drive. Let's jump into that right now. All right, step one, let's pick some paint colors. Yesterday, I picked um, this Trofeo White. Today, I'm not going to pick the Trofeo White. I think we're just going to do... I think we're just going to do the all black. Let's just do the Volcano Black Metallic. It's a $600 option. There's a nice shot of, uh, of our vehicle. What is this? 20-inch, 5-hole aluminum wheels. What do those look like? Ah, wow. Those are hot. That looks hot. I'm going to leave that just like it is. Just like that. Now, these brake calipers, um, we're not doing black. I can tell you that right now. We're going to do the red. We're going to do the red brake calipers. I think that looks good. We're going to do this all kind of black. This is going to be a very dark vehicle. Um, we're going to stick with these tires because I don't know what options we're trying to do. What, what does this say here? Compact spare tire. I'm not going to worry about the spare tire right now. Let's move on to the interior. Here's a nice interior shot. Let's move on to the interior. And do we want to have all black or do we want to have some red? Do we want to have some red? We might want to have some red interior too. Let's check that out. Yeah. Let's do all black with a little red, a little performance red on the inside. That's a no, co no cost option. And then we can throw here, as you can see, we can make the heated seat, we can make the seats in the back heated. I think our occupants, I think our rear seat occupants will appreciate that. And we're sitting just under $50,000 so far. We can upgrade our sound system to the 8.8 inch uh, high definition Bluetooth radio with the 3D nav, right? It's just $950. Let's throw that bad boy on there. I like how they, I like how they have their menus. I think that looks really cool. Your speakers, we can upgrade to the premium Harden Carden, Harman Carden premium audio. It's nine bills. Let's do it. We can get the dual pane sunroof. Yeah, let's do that for thirteen fifty. Why not? Oh wow, you can get the leather dash and upper doors. Right, that's interesting. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I thought I noticed that earlier and just didn't say anything. I wish I would have said something because then that would have made me super clever. At any rate. Um, Safety and security, what do we got here? Premium alarm system and a full speed four collision warning plus. Uh, let's do the premium alarm and let's do the full speed four collision uh, warning plus, blah, 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 blah. Let's move on to packages, okay? Okay, here's some packages. We know that I want the TI Sport Performance Package. It gives us an active suspension and a limited slip rear diff. We're going to do that for $1,350. I don't really care about the black edition package, even though I'm kind of going with the whole black theme. I like those wheels, and uh, those wheels aren't the Mirin black sport aluminum wheel, so I'm not going to worry about that. So let's go ahead and get this TI Sport package, and I don't think we need the convenience package. I mean, it sounds kind of interesting, but eh, I can take it or leave it, to be honest with you. Um... I don't need that convenience package. What's this driver assist dynamic plus package? Gives us adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning. Oh, this does have the full speed four collision warning in it. 
right? That has the full speed forward collision warning. So how about I go ahead and remove that? We don't need that for $500 a la carte. And then I'll just go ahead and add this driver assist dynamic plus package for $1,500 and get a whole bevy of safety and security features. We already have the driver assist static package with the blind spot and cross path detection. And let's talk powertrain. Well, we already know what the powertrain is. It's that two liter engine. It's good for 280 horse, 306 pound feet of torque. We're not towing anything, so we're not getting a hitch. Additional mechanical features. We don't need headlamp washers, I don't think. I don't need an engine block either. Either. All right, well, we've made it to the summary. And we're under $60,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, 57240 for this 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Sport. All-wheel drive. Very nice. Let's just scroll down here. You can see this is the this is our build summary. And I have downloaded the build summary, right? It says that we can download it. I've downloaded the build summary. So if you like the way that I've built and priced this 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Sport all-wheel drive, well, you can download the build summary in the description below. Other than that, you know what? We're done. We're done here. We're done here for the day. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you've made it to the end, well, like I always say, you're awesome. I always say it because I always mean it. You're awesome. I really appreciate that. And I would also appreciate it if you'd liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, and uh, I'll see you on the next video, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.